Hi, this is Dave Watson of Music Film Web, and I'm here with Christine Enterlein yes. from Unenhort. Unenhort. Yes. Film Festival in Hamburg, and right now we're at the Portobello Film Festival, and Unenhort has a showcase going on. So, Christine, can you first tell me a little bit about the Unenhort Film Festival? Yeah, we're a small non-profit film festival uh, dedicated to music films only and music of all genres and all uh, film formats like uh, music documentaries, uh, biopics, uh, concert films, music videos, etc. And uh, Unerhard was founded in two uh, 2006 by Ralf Schulze from Hamburg and uh, this year is our fourth edition and uh, last year we, we screened 65 uh, films in four days. It was really our best year up to now, but this year is smaller but beautiful because we had some severe budget problems, like a lot of small independent cultural institutions have in Germany. Uh, how did you first get involved with Unenhort? Yeah, so I've always been a um, passionate fan of music and film and uh, Actually, it's a long story. I wanted to become a filmmaker when I was young, but then I, my, I took another profession, and uh, I slightly regret this now. And uh, so I w was looking for a hobby or some um, some volunteer work in this area. And when I came across when I heard as I, you know, I attended a screening of uh, Blondie Dog, which is really fantastic, one way or another, and. So after the screening, I, I just uh, plucked up courage and spoke to the festival crew and asked whether I could join. And so since two years now, I'm doing all the online and social media stuff, uh, film scouting and pre-selecting films for festival and uh, corporations, working on corporations like this with Portobello Film Festival. Okay, and if you can hear us in the background, the noise, we're filming this live outside here just outside the film festival. Uh, can you tell us how you guys got involved with the Portobello Film Festival? Yeah, that's uh, a nice story. It's uh, actually my um, private visit last year, when I because I love this Portobello area very much. It's very dear to me as an old punk fan, and you know, the clash started off the... Uh, so this area is very dear to me, and I last year I visited the festival, and I loved it so much, and then I thought, Oh, we could cooperate with Portobello because we have some similarities. And so I spoke to um, JB, Jonathan Barnett, the festival director, and to Ray, the programmer. And so we, kept, we stayed in contact. I liked the idea of music film festivals. And so we just mailed, etc. And then Jonathan invited us to have a special showcase this year, and I'm very happy about it. And what movies are you showing? Yeah, we have a special uh, showcase of three music documentaries, uh, which are highlights of our last year's uh, festival. Uh, we're starting off with West Coast Theory, which is a documentary about a special LA hip hop sound, very cool film from uh, two young French directors, and it's uh, one hour award uh, best music film last year at the festival. So it's a really good, uh, good movie. And, and there's two more movies you're yes, showing? Yes, exactly. And for the second one, I choose um, Dirty Princess. And the English uh, translated title is a little bit clumsy, so please, uh, but I, I try to translate it. It's Dirty Princess with burning knickers against the uh, capitalistic perfume. So this is... A classic title. Yeah, and it's uh, a debut uh, feature film of a young German director. And it's about an electronic punk a trio from Madrid and they have two sexy front ladies uh, most of the time undressing on stage but it's all very political so it's interesting how they uh, to look behind the scenes how their daily life is you, you know the, it's uh, the, the whole picture of these girls uh -huh. who do the stage uh -huh. performance and the last one is um, a real interesting piece it's a portrait of Dixa Bargeld and Blixer Bargeld is a um, charismatic post-punk figure of 80s Berlin with uh, his group Einstürzende Neubauten, collapsing new buildings, 
has a title and he's um, now in his 50s and a kind of bohemian bourgeois and well to do with house in San Francisco and house in Peking and so it's very interesting to um, the, the portrait goes back to his white youth in 80s Berlin and shows his, day, uh, his actual life now and uh, director Birgit Ted Litschke will be there and for a Q&A the audience. Mm -hmm. And is there anything you can tell us about the Udenhort um, festival, just in terms of dates? I can't remember if you mentioned already the dates and any other information yeah. that you can find. Um, Unerhört in 2000, uh, 2010, is, uh, uh, there's a lot of going, uh, stuff going on. The screening at festivals, we just screened at Berlin Music Week. We had um, a couple of films screening there, and now at Reeperbahn Festival in Hamburg, which is very famous, a music festival. And our main platform, the Unerhört Film Festival will be in from 2nd to 5th December in Hamburg and we're screening for about 25 films um, in four days at one cinema. So uh, as I said before, it's small and beautiful this year because we only have uh, a very, very small budget. And oh, I forgot to say, this showcase here is only possible because uh, the filmmakers and producers, uh, they gave us the films for free. And so we have a uh, zero budget, and I have to thank everybody for this. It's great. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Well, thanks, Christine, for talking to us for our first intervlog for Music Film Web. And we're looking forward to your festival, Unenhort, and yes. the festival, the showing tonight. And we'll be promoting more of that on Music Film Web. Here comes the train, so this is a good time to stop. Yeah, great. Thank you, Dave. <laughs>